वेलकम डियर लर्नर आज हम लोग बात करेंगे वैलर इक्वेशन के बारे में और इसके बेस दो निवेटर प्रॉब्लम्स ही हम देखेंगे सो वैलर इक्वेशन इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर द नॉन आइडियल सॉल्यूशन वेयर वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द एक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट ऑफ कंपोनेंट वन एंड कंपोनेंट टू और इफ मोर देन टू कंपोनेंट सो कंपोनेंट थ्री एज वेल विद द यूज ऑफ फॉर्मूला सो द वैलर हैज कंसिडर दैट the g by rt the excess gibbs energy by rt is equal to a x1 x2 upon x1 into a by b plus x2 where a and b are the adjustable parameters and after that he rearrange this formula to determine the activity coefficient like you refer the previous video lectures which was based on the merger's equation and the properties of solution so you will get how to rearrange this one so here the ln gamma 1 is equal to a z2 square is equal to a upon a 1 plus a by b into x1 by x2 whole square and similarly for ln gamma 2 b z2 square is equal to b upon 1 plus b by a into x2 by x1 whole square where as i uh, explained a1 a and b are the x, uh, adjustable parameters and that can be determined experimentally if we suppose the case we would like to determine gamma 1 and gamma 2 so if you look at this equation if we know the value of a and b similarly the mole fraction of component 1 and 2 we can determine the activity coefficient of the gamma uh, component 1 and component 2 suppose in a case where we have given the activity coefficient of the solution for specific conditions and we have to determine the activity coefficient of the one of the component with the different fraction of the solution that moment this equation will be rearranged in terms of a and b because the gamma 1 and gamma 2 values were given so we rearrange this equation in terms of a, a and b and thereafter we uh, we solve it to get the value of a and b and once we have the constant value a and b with the different uh, mole fraction or different composition of x and y uh, means the component 1 and component 2 we can calculate the gamma 1 and gamma 2 so like vice versa we can use this equation 1 uh, equation 2 3 4 and 5 to calculate the activity coefficient like one example is taken here from the uh, y v c raw <coughs> the valer constant in ethanol benzene solution are a 1.7910 and b 1.8262 it's mean the valer constant for ethanol is 1.7910 and valer constant for benzene is 1.8262 at 50 degree centigrade we have to calculate the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2 for 60 mole percentage of the ethanol so in this problem in this problem the value of x1 is let's consider the ethanol 1 so the value of x1 is 0.6 and therefore the value of x2 will be 0.4 so in pro, in this problem the x1 and x2 values are also known and the value of a is as it is mentioned 1.7910 and b is 1.8262 so with this all given values in the problem we put this value over equation number 2 and equation number 3 like mention here so ln gamma 1 is equal to a upon a upon 1.790 upon 1 plus a into 0.6 means x1 here it is x1 upon b x2 so b is what 1.8262 into x is 0.4 is square why solving this you will get the value of 0.2933 and when you re uh, resolve this for the gamma 1 you will get the value of gamma 1 1.34085 similarly for gamma 2 we refer the equation number 3 and this equation number 3 b upon 1 plus b by a x2 upon x1 whole square so 1 plus b b is 1.8262 into 0.4 because mole fraction 0.4 upon a 1.79 this into 0.6 x1 
and while solving this you will get the value of gamma 2. So, this is the very easy formula to find the activity coefficient of component 1 and component 2. Let us take one more problem to find the activity coefficient of the given components. Let us take another example where itself it is once again it is a mixture of ethanol and benzene where the system forms an azeotrope. The new term introduced here is azeotrope with 46 mole percent ethanol with a boiling point of 68.24 degrees centigrade at 760 torr. The saturation pressure of ethanol and benzene are at the 68.24 degree centigrade are 506 torr and 517 torr respectively. So, we have to estimate Van Laar constant for the system and also evaluate the activity coefficient for a solution at the 20 percent of ethanol. So, in this problem we have to do two exercise with the given of first data we have to calculate the constant values of A and B and with the known value of A and B we re-put into the formula and calculate the activity coefficient for component 1 and component 2. <coughs> okay. So, let us start. So, whatever given here P1 is saturation pressure of ethanol in benzene 506 and 517. Total pressure is 760 bar, temperature is 68.24 and when it is form a drop it is 46 mole percent of ethanol. So, that I have written at the edge drop 46 mole percent of the ethanol means x1 is 46 and x2 is equal to 54. One thing which I have to clear is edge drop. So, edge drop is the point at which the component will form the equal mole fraction in liquid and vapor phase. So, that is the point of edge drop. Because of the edge drop, because of the edge drop as I have told the mole fraction in liquid phase will be equal to the vapor phase. Let us start, we know that the fugacity in liquid phase is equal to the fugacity in vapor phase at the stage of vapor liquid equilibria and we know that from the Lewis Randall rule and Rawls law the gamma i x i p i s is equal to y i p. So, the case when edge trough will exist where y1, y1 is equal to x1 or y i is equal to x i, this equation is reformed and x i y i will be cancelled. So, the term is gamma i into p i s is equal to p or when we form gamma i is equal to p upon p i s. So, p upon p i s. Now, from this known relation, we can calculate gamma 1 and gamma 2. So, for gamma n, p is given 760 torr and P1 is given 506. So, 760 divided by 50 is 1.502 and similarly gamma 2 also. So, at the edge drop with the known value of saturation pressure, we can calculate the gamma 1 and gamma 2 of the component. Once we have the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2, the rearrange equation for the constant A and B of the Van Laar is looks like this, where A is equal to ln gamma 1 into 1 plus x2 ln gamma 2 upon x1 ln gamma 1 whole square. Similarly, for constant B ln gamma 2 into 1 plus x1 ln gamma 1 upon x2 ln gamma 2 whole square. So, <coughs> just we have got the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2 from here, we put those value over here and we remind that at the edge drop because this gamma 1 and gamma 2 is available at the edge drop and edge drop is how much 46 x1 value is 46 means it is 0.46 point so it is 0.46 so the another part is 0.54 so as per this equation all data are known like gamma 1 from here gamma 2 from here x1 this one and x2 this one. So, with the all this known value when we put over here we will get the values of the constant A is 1.8144 and B is 1.39. So, here our main difficulty is solved with the help of azeotropic data our the constant value A and B we calculate.
once we know the value of a and b we go back to the valar main equation where ln gamma 1 is equal to a upon 1 plus a by b x1 x2 whole square upon b upon uh, this is the one and ln gamma 2 is equal to b upon 1 plus b by a x2 upon x1 whole square so here in this equation all the unknowns like a we got here b we got here and the mole fracture x1 and x2 so we are searching for 20% ethanol we have to calculate this for 20% ethanol so when 20% ethanol means x1 is 0.2 and x2 is 0.8 so here look at this equation a and b both are known here x1 and x2 both are also given so all information is available to us we only put the value overall over this equation and when we solve we will get the value of first we will get the value of 1.03133 this is the value of ln gamma 1 and similarly we get the value of 0 0.0841 for ln gamma 2 but we have to produce the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2 so just take anti log of this expression and we will get the value of gamma 1 is equal to 2.8048 and gamma 2 is equal to 1.0877 so with this exercise we can to know that the van der equation is very useful for such solution and for the ejector this will give the constant value and with the constant value we can determine the activity coefficient for various percentage of the one of the components so keep learning thermodynamics and try to solve various numerical problems to enhance your knowledge expertise and also increase your confidence so keep learning once again